Shea Butter Baby. Y'all, it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Y'all, you girl Summer Walker is back in the <laughs> in the news. We ain't gonna talk about summer all day. Um, it is Friday. It is a slow, thank God. Let me tell you something. I have been getting up and starting work at 4.30 every day this week. Normally I get up around four anyway, but I don't typically start working. But every day this week I've been working 10, 12 hour days. When I tell you I'm tired, I am tired. Today I literally stopped working around noon. I started at five. So that's what, I mean, I, when I work, I work straight through. Besides me putting, putting JB, taking him to school, I work straight through. So I didn't have breakfast, I didn't have anything. It was noon. And then my manager sent me a message and she was like, um, check your, like, I think it's like cheers. Like you, basically we have this type of program internally at my company to where uh, employees can recognize each other and it's a point system. You can be awarded points and you use those points to get you a gift. So I saw that she had awarded me 800 points. I was like, oh, thank you, Regina. So I went in and I said, what can I get? So I saw that you had options for a Texas Roadhouse gift card. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me go to Texas Roadhouse for lunch today. You know, by myself, let me have me some me time. Now, y'all, I'm from Texas. Y'all know this. And I'm going to Texas Roadhouse. Literally, my parents go almost every week. Because that's one of the few restaurants that they have out in East Texas. You know, they have more, but they love them some Texas Roadhouse chow. So even with that being said, when we were living in Texas, we used to go to, remember, do y'all remember the Black Eyed Pea? Child, my, my husband, when we were, that was one of the places we would go to um, as our first dates, our dates for the weekend. So he would, we would go to, look, first of all, I was really fat when he got with me. He, he liked me chubby too. So we would go to Black Eyed Pea, Taco Cabana, Taco Bueno, because we were kids. So we were, you know, so anyway. Instead of eating at Texas Row House, we would do Black Eyed Pea. And then Black Eyed Pea shut down. They were like, duh, we ain't, we ain't gonna eat, you know. I digress. So with that being said, I really hadn't eaten there a lot. I ate there for the first time, I think it was shortly after I graduated from college. And then for the second time, when we went back from um, home and um, for my high school reunion, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. So long story short, I have not been there a lot. So I'm not sure what the food is really like. I just know that people from Texas love them from Texas Roadhouse, right? So we went to the one, this one right by our house. I said, let me go up there and get me something. Mind you, y'all, I've been trying to eat fairly clean because I, I, yeah, not clean, but a lot better than I have been. And so of course they give you those dang on buttered rolls with the honey, with the cinnamon butter. Now, mind you, I haven't had anything. So, I wolfed down two and a half of those those damn things. I had to stop. I'm like, okay, Vivian, had me a little rum punch drink or whatever. And so, my mind was set on getting some catfish. But I'm like, no, let me try the burger. Y'all, when I tell you that food was so salty, that burger, I mean, I literally looked at the burger and was like, did they, did they look at me and be like, oh, there's a black woman over there. We need to make sure this food is well seasoned. Put a lot of salt on it. It was so, so, I honestly should have took it back. But I don't like to mess with people when they're messing with my food. I, I would rather, if you're going to take it back, I don't want it back at all. I don't know when I'm loading up this video. More than likely, I will, I will be loading up this video at the end of November. It'll be after Thanksgiving. So, at the end of November, early December. Um... I'm in my back guest from it. It's going to be crazy next week. Not necessarily. I just don't know. It's, it's going to be crazy. So. I am going to take the next 30 minutes. Normally it takes me longer to decorate my planner. Now. You're not supposed to do this. Meaning. Um. How do I. It's not necessarily illegal, but it's an image that I'm using for my stickers. But I, I can use it because I'm not selling it. Does that make sense? I'm not selling any of this stuff. So I'm just going to show y'all a couple of things that I'm, I am print, I printed out. And I just found these images online. Isn't this cute? This is supposed to be like a Chanel inspired 
stickers for my my sticker and then I got some other things here that are more so for fall um these right here are for fall and for Christmas <laughs> Christmas story isn't it cute um sticking with Christmas we have got gotta have a black Santa got, gotta have gotta have Kwanzaa in there Harry Potter inspired stickers we did not make it to church last Sunday y'all we have not been to church in forever but I did something. I bought something today to encourage me to go to church. And I know this is bad. But because it's been cooler in the mornings here, and I'm I'm like so tired. I'm like, you know what? I just wanna I just wanna sleep in. But we're going to church. We're going to church. And let me show y'all what I bought. I bought a cute. It's winter. Isn't this cute, y'all? And it's heavy. It's so it's good, it's good material. Look at this dress isn't this cute and it flares at the bottom and I think this is winter and it is heavy now let me show y'all how much this costs well let me back up this is very short has a short torso and it will make me look square I mean my 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 I have a little you know waist I try to so what I'm going to do to help me create a waist because this is basically it's going to cut me off to where I won't have a waist add a belt Add a belt and it'll help that. So let me show y'all how much this costs. And I'll show you what the outfit looks like. I got it from Ross. Look how much she costs. Yes, girl, $15. Look at that, $15. Now let me show you what shoes I'm gonna wear. Now I have my black tights because it's gonna be cold. Look, y'all can't be walking around with your with your um, legs bare when it's cold like this. You, you're gonna catch a cold. So. I know y'all thinking, look at this. I wear these. It'll be really cute with it because it has black and white. It has white details. So yes, that's what I'm wearing. Hey y'all. So it is Saturday morning. Um, I'm going to do a little makeup. And y'all, this this lipstick here is so pretty. It's in LA Colors. Look at that. Look at that purple. It's a shimmery purple. It's called Small Talk Papa Papa Toy. Girl, y'all know I can't pronounce that. Damn me. Um, look, she room is the best thing ever. Back in my she room, I'm about to play some music. JV and my husband. Hold on, y'all. I'll turn around talk to you. Rude. Um. About to listen to some KK, crazy KK. Um, I shouldn't say that. I know. I'm sorry. Um, my husband and JB are in the living room eating breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my makeup because we are going to the train park to get today. My husband is going to join us since he is off. Amen. Amen. Um, look, why are this ninjas like? Meaning my husband. He's like, so are you walking around the neighborhood gathering? The gossip. I said, what are you talking about? I don't gossip. He said, well, I saw you this morning over there uh, talking to Neil. Neil. Mr. Neil is my neighbor from Paris, Texas. I said, I wasn't talking to him about the, uh, I wasn't gossiping with him. But if you must know, there is some stuff popping off with Miss Lori and, and whatever y'all. I'm not even going to share that because I know someone who's kind of, one of the neighbors watches my videos. Hey, Justine, girl, how you doing with your petty self? Yeah, she's a bit, she's a little petty, passive aggressive, passive aggressive pettiness, but um, I'm just kidding, Justine. There's a little bit of drama going on, which, you know what, whatever. Um, but I said, no, I'm not even, I said, I haven't even told you about what's going on there. And you don't want to know. You really don't want to know. So y'all, When we go somewhere, I do do my makeup. Um, I know Jamie sometimes, he was like, what, what are you do? Look, Jamie's so wishy-washy. One day he'll be like, why are you always, why do you always have to do your makeup when we go out? I don't even answer that. There's no, there's no reason to answer that. First of all, you, no. All right, then other days he'll be like, one time, I don't know where we were going. I can't remember where we were going. And he was like, um, are you not gonna put on any makeup? I said, no, why? 
well, I think we were going to an indoor playground. I said, no, I'm not. Why? He said, hmm, well, <laughs> he said, I just know if, if I was a girl, you know, I would uh, put on some eyeshadow or something. I said, okay, you know what, JB? You know what, JB? Let me let me go to the back and do something. Let me do something. I'm going to spend about five, ten minutes doing something. It made me feel better. So, hold on, y'all. It's by NYX. Ah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm a little bit perturbed about my hair. We'll we'll go back to what I was talking about. I don't know what happened. My hair dried. It was that dang on Garnier Free Tees. I got build up, y'all. So I won't be able. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using that. Let me turn this down some. The brightness. Actually, let me just close the blind some. There we go. Is that a little bit better? I was looking way too light skin. Shout out to my red bone, yellow bones. I'm so silly. So anyway, y'all, yo, we're going out there. And what was I talking about? I'm all over the place. I know. Um. So my hair, why I'm itching it. I was in the middle of doing a review comparing two products on my hair and while I was actually taking it down, I started seeing flakes. And I had used the Garnier Fruities, the green bottle as a leave-in, something happened. Even Either I didn't work it in all the way or I don't know. I don't know what happened. So literally I had to stop the, the review because my hair was stiff and the products wouldn't have worked well. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take my hair down today. I don't know what it's going to look like. I continued the next day to do something with it. I just used my um, DIY buttercream and was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it done. So yeah, y'all girl, um, Summer Walker apparently shared a picture of an altar. I mentioned this briefly in my, by the time I upload this, it would have been weeks. <laughs> Look, it's not funny, but this girl, she is such a high, she's a walking con contradiction. One minute, <sighs> this is what I want to say. Apparently she has social anxiety, which is something that is a very serious, you know, which is why I think this is one of the reasons why sometimes when she performs, she's sitting down. I noticed that. This is my thing though. If you wanted to be a celebrity and a singer, a R&B singer in 2019, you have to know that a part of that type of celebrity status is being out in front of people. Um, yeah, so I don't know what she was expecting. I don't know if she wasn't expecting to blow up like she did. And I think that's one of the reasons why she has decided apparently to take to pull away besides her showing it showing a picture of an altar. Ciao, I saw the picture flying and I'm like, what in the Beyonce Illuminati Oprah went for hell is going on? <laughs> I know Oprah is jealous of that. <laughs> Y'all, <Yeah>, she <laughs> someone ain't got nothing on Oprah and Beyonce's altar. She know they they the high priestesses. They, you know, they they up there. Lord have mercy. Y'all know I'm silly. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette to do something with, with my with my eyes here. Um Yeah, y'all. This is a, a jumbo milk come to as a primer. I have actual primers for your eyes, but I ain't got time. Y'all have so much makeup. One of these days I need to go through and actually um declutter. I know I'm doing this messy. I'm trying to hurry up before Jamie comes back here. The door is locked. Yes, but still, you never know. So yeah, y'all, Summer says she done. She is done with y'all. Y'all don't like her whole baths. So she's done. <laughs> she's done. You, 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 She's like, if you don't accept this whole bath, I'm done with y'all. Yeah, I can't see, so I do my makeup with my eyes. My eyes on, these are my eyes. These big ass glasses. Um, what do you want? I want, to, I want to see what you're doing. Oh, I can explain to you what I'm doing. Right now, I'm applying a shimmery eyeshadow to the inner eye of my eyelid. Well, 
You got a bed. Go to your room. I ain't gonna mess with him. He eating breakfast. Why he in there? Y'all, what is it? It, maybe it's just my husband. Why is it when they do something that's out of the extraordinary, they pump themselves up? He made some pancakes. Now, granted, my husband don't know how to cook. He made some pancakes and he said, mm, these pancakes are good. Ooh, are they good, JB? I come up behind him. He said, holy shit. I said, I said, I said, should have smell good. He's like, you want some? They are good. I said, first of all, all you did was add some water to these little raggedy ass pancakes. Box. <laughs> I would just went in there and just messed up his whole pride child over some pancakes. I'm like, if you don't quit boasting about some pancakes. Anyway, that was sweet of him to make JD some breakfast this morning. <sighs> Y'all, I am, <laughs> I am trying to figure out how to get back home. Um, it has been stormy weather here for the past two days, two to three days here in Phoenix. It was raining like crazy yesterday, like Texas, East, East Texas, Oklahoma type of rain. Um, and it flooded. So where we where we are at, first of all, Phoenix is not built to handle this type of weather because the drainage the drainage systems are just horrible. They just not, you know, architect wise, design wise, whatever you want to call it, is not built for that because we're in the desert. And then if you take into if you take into consideration the sand, all that, yeah. So what happens when it when it rains here, when it floods, they shut down this main road that takes you through the mountains. And I live in North Phoenix where there's not a lot of options to get whatever the hell you need to go. So they shut that road down yesterday, right? I have to take the 17, which is a main freeway or highway to get to JB's school. JB was late, whatever. They didn't count today as a tardy because of that main blockage. Well, in addition to the flooding and the rain, they have been working on expanding not only the 17, but also the, um, Christine just wrote me because I told her I can't get home. Let me get to it. They are working on expanding the 17 and the Dangon's uh, Scottsdale uh, 101, you know, going up north, east, 101, north and south of the 17, which is, we're blocked in. That's a little better, a little better. So one, that's going on. Two, I need to call my best friend here. That's a whole other conversation, which I'm really not gonna go that much into because she is my best friend and I wanna protect her privacy. But another thing is that, um, well, I was gonna say, um, it's busy at work. Like what in the actual hell? And the reason why it is busy at work is because we are international. These folks don't celebrate Thanksgiving in India. <laughs> but they don't celebrate Halloween, which is, you know, not everyone, excuse me, they don't celebrate Halloween either, but they do not celebrate Thanksgiving. That is not one of their holidays, which is understandable. So they are still emailing us at three, four, five o'clock in the mornings. And, and then our systems has been slow. Our network has been slow. So that just makes it even more frustrating to know that you have a holiday coming up and you don't, um, you really can't relax. Not only that, but I don't have any days off. I have our meaning I didn't take any additional days off. I do have the days off, but sometimes people do take one or two days off. And my manager was straight up tripping about taking off any additional days for the holidays. I regret it now because I, I need it. I do regret it, but hopefully it will be slow. I do have next Thursday and Friday off. And we get, of course, Christmas, Christmas Eve off and New Year's. But you best believe I will be taking like a whole week off in January and February. And I wish someone would say something. Because I am, I'm technically, am, I'm coverage for like two, two teams right now. I, I, I am the coverage for two teams while they get to take their days off child so that's going on you know work is crazy um yesterday i was asked to help keep there's some neighborhood drama going on some drama going on with some moms that i'm trying not to get a part of but i'm in it now i was asked to help keep some babies which i was like okay cool because they they paid me you know because two of the moms got into it and so they don't, one of them doesn't work there anymore. So I'm like, cool, I'll help. Hey guys, let me show you guys my Christmas tree before Booba comes in. 
the ribbons I got from the Dollar Tree. It matches the theme, right? This is a woodland gold type of thing. These are those dolls I got from Target on clearance. I get my stuff on clearance after the holidays. So this tree decoration, with the exception of the ribbons, is courtesy from last year decorations. Isn't it pretty? Isn't this cool? Cottage hours are um, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Are we here to see Santa? You wanna come see? Well, y'all, yeah, we just got out of the store. Was well, gonna go to the park, but it is extremely cold. It's, it's windy and it just makes the cold factor even worse. But you know what, we just went into a little Santa shop here. They have a little Santa store like set up and um the santa claus there oh i already told santa i said my, my child don't believe in santa claus but he just he just want he's here for the memories <laughs> so the santa said you know what i'm gonna tell you two things a lot of people don't know about santa claus one he asked jb how old does he think saint nicholas is and of course jb's just sitting there because he doesn't know so the man lets him know this is an older gentleman of course because it's typically older men that play santa claus he lets him know that Santa is over a thousand years old. He said also the original Saint Nicholas, a lot of people don't know this, but the original Saint Nicholas was actually a black man. I said, for real? Seriously? He said, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. The original Saint Nicholas was a black man. And then capitalized or saintized, you know, and a lot of people just don't know that. I said, he said, go do your research, do your research. I said, I'm gonna do my research on that. I am. I'm gonna look that up, y'all. That is very interesting, indeed. All right, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do because he ain't gonna be driving me crazy. I ain't gonna show him, but you ain't gonna be driving me crazy, JB. All right, let's go somewhere indoors. All right, we'll find something indoors, then, baby. Okay? <laughs> like Walmart. <laughs> Food. I am cooking. I'm still still trying to figure out what I want to do. I either want to make a coconut raspberry cake or a pecan white chocolate cranberry cake i know i'm all over the place i'm not i'm all over the place right but the food preparation has to start actually tomorrow i have to create uh, a starter which is used for sourdough breads but injera is very sour which is the flat bread that the food typically goes on i need to start that tomorrow He's saying go to Ethiopia's be washing the chicken. Let me tell you how they be washing their chicken. First of all, they wash the chicken and, and want, they rinse it off. Then they pour the water out. Then they put in lemons or limes with salt. Wash it. Use the lemon not to actually wash the chicken. Pour it out. Then they pour water over it. Pour it out. Then they put some fermentation water on it. Then they put the they washing the chicken is like a whole damn day. <laughs> I have never seen, again, besides Islanders, my West Indies, y'all know, I've never seen people wash chicken like this before. They wash the hell out that chicken. Um, <clears throat> and I honestly think that makes the food, they're basically almost tenderizing the chicken. Then they cut into the chicken, cut splits into the chicken, so when the chicken is cooking in the spices, the spices, oh, it's such a beautiful process. It is such, I love to cook, y'all. You know this. I'm very passionate about cooking. So, yeah. Yeah, I need to get some food grade gloves because I want to get my hands. But my, my nails are very short, so I'm okay with that. My nails are very short. <clears throat> so, anyway, y'all. Today we're going to church. And I'm still not sure whether or not I want to do a separate video for my outfit of the day. My outfits of the day videos don't get a lot of views. So, I'm thinking about including that in... <clears throat> my holiday hair video actually I think I will I think I am I'm going to go ahead and include my outfit holiday outfit next to my tree my tree's so cute um yeah that's what we'll do um I'm feeling a little bit better about this stuff going on with YouTube but when I tell you I'm trying not to really get into the other frantic videos because now there have been at least one or two videos I've seen in my recommendations 
from YouTubers who are actually already being fined for what? I don't know. But you can now get sued and that's what's scary. And so, yeah, I think, you know, with JB, I think it's okay for now if JB is in the videos every now and then, but it cannot be consistent. I think that's where the red, red flags, you know, that's when my videos would be flagged. Um, if you're already subscribed to JB, you can still see those videos, but I haven't posted up anything new. Um, I just want the, the whatever's going on now to kind of slow down, you know, because right now everyone's frantic, running around like chicken little. So I want it to kind of die down for me to really put my head on and figure out what I'm going to do. I post on his channel maybe twice a month, you know what I mean? But it's still tied and connected to my channel. That's why I'm being cautious. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, Emerald, Emerald Rice, part of the Rice family. Her comments are down. Um, there was someone else I was watching and their comments are disabled too. I can't remember who it is. I cannot remember. Trying to, I need to look up, hold on y'all. I need to look up um, Linus Davis out in Sweden, the girl whose account was hijacked. I, I was, I feel so bad for her. And they're uploading Trump videos, Trump Fox News videos. And those of you who don't know, they're going through the impeachment process right now. And so Republicans are flocking her channel. I don't care what part, party you're from. That's not my concern. But this girl is not even in America. And this is going on. And so I was able to get in contact with Google support, YouTube support, excuse me, and working with someone, basically being a middle person because she can't contact them directly. And if she does they've been blowing her off because it's not coming from her YouTube account. You see what I'm saying? So I hate to say it, but YouTube is getting that way. Like, and I'm pretty sure she has more subscribers than I am, than I do. But because they can't see that, you see what I'm saying? She's contacting them from an unknown account or whatever. But if they see me with 22,000 subscribers, they're like, oh, we need to help you out. It's become that way. I'm being very careful what I put in my tags, especially with chit chats or anything like that. I wanted to start talking about more serious discussions or serious as related to black women. After I saw a nappy headed hoa's video, I'm not gonna do that. This is a lot of energy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And we spend countless hours. No one tells us to do it. We do it because we, we like to do it. You know, it's a hobby. I guess my point is, we, as a content creator, we spend a lot of time and effort putting up these videos. And then when YouTube and Google and the you know, same thing and the government are shutting it down like this and putting all these things in place, it really disheartens you and it really just is not worth it at the end. So if anything happens like that on my channel, I guess my point is that I wouldn't even have the energy or, or desire to continue. I put in eight or nine years of this. Are you serious? No. For, for what? Like, even though my checks are a little bit more, but I've never gotten more than $400 a, what do you say? $400 a month. Let's just calculate this, okay? On average, I'm putting out two videos a week, okay? That's eight videos a month. That one, depending on the type of video, it could take me days to record and not even editing, editing oh, and uploading two to three hours. Let's just say, let's just say eight hours. That's being very, very conservative. Eight hours a video, okay? You know what I say, eight, eight, um, eight videos a month, eight hours a video, and let's say that my average check is $350. Let's divide this. Let's see how much I'm getting paid an hour. $5.40. $5.40, okay? And that's if I'm not doing anything else, you know what I mean? So, way below minimum wage, you know? And I know some people who are not even getting four, you know, $300, $400, and they're still, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's, anything happens, $5.40 is not worth it, you know what I mean? Because I was joking with uh, Angel a couple of months ago when I took that break when did I take a break? I took a break around this time last year 
And I said, girl, I bought in the same, I only bought in $20 less when I wasn't making any new content for a whole month. I didn't put out any new videos for a whole month and all that did was affect me by $20. Now what's, what's generating revenue for me is my rice water video, okay? Cause y'all want to, y'all want y'all hair to grow fast. Um, and if I was the type of person to jump on trending, I would definitely put out that fenugreek video like this, but I'm not going to do that because I don't believe in fenugreek. <laughs> Let me show y'all my outfit a little bit more detail. Right. I just got back from church. This is that dress. Let me unbutton it. Very cute, huh? A little short. It goes right above the knee. And I, I'm, I, I could be a little bit more conservative when it comes to my clothes. Really cute though. Now paired it with this cardigan. And I have my black and white. This is what it looks like. I have my um, black and white purse. Uh, JB is moving the table, so I do apologize. I'm serving you 50s realness, domesticated. <laughs> Cha, I gotta be careful. We just got back from um, CBS, and there was a man like literally following me. Look, Pakistani, and look, I shouldn't say that. He's just clearly from the Middle East. He slowed down when he he slowed down when he saw me walking in. Slow down even more and let us go in front of him. I'm gonna get ready to make my cake. Hold on, it's dark in here, hold on. All right, it's a little bit better. This is an original recipe. I get inspiration from Pinterest, but I am baby. <laughs> That's JB. Make sure I, I put his cake in there. So it really doesn't matter. You see, I'm using two different brands. I know, I believe it was Chocolate Capricorn who asked me if, there, if I would notice a difference. JB, I'm recording. You really won't as long as you're consistent with what you add. So we have a Duncan High and Betty Crocker, but they are both cake mix, white cake mix. I'm gonna be using four eggs, one egg white. Some other things you can add to the cake mix. I have said this before. It depends on the type of flavor you have. Like yesterday, I made a chocolate cake for my housekeeper. I added cocoa powder to her cake and raw chocolate with some vanilla just to Hey, doctor it up a little bit. Since it's a white cake and it's an actual coconut cake, I'm gonna be using, instead of water, I'm gonna be using coconut milk. This is unsweetened coconut milk. You can find this, at least I can only find this at my local Walmart. This is coconut cream pudding. It's gonna make the cake very moist. I'm only gonna use half of, a, half of a package. Some vanilla here. We have some shredded coconut for once it's done. Now let me show you what I'm gonna add in between because this is gonna be two layers. I'm gonna serrate the layers. These are nine inch cake pans, okay? And I have a little bitty six inch for JB because he doesn't like icing or whatever, whatever girl. Um, but I'm gonna put two, I'm gonna have two nine inch, excuse me, two nine inch cake pans in which I'm gonna add the cake batter too, but once those are done, I'm gonna serrate those in half because I have a filling that I made earlier this morning. So here is my berry filling. Now this is real cranberries, hear me out, hear me out y'all. This is real cranberries, which cranberry, people typically think, okay, cranberry sauce, it's sweet, it's bitter. It is, and that's why you pair it with dressing or stuffing, which is a savory dish, okay? So what I did though is I make this very sweet. <laughs> So this is cranberries. I made a cranberry sauce, but I add a little bit more brown sugar. I use brown sugar instead of white sugar. That's what I would normally make, add when I'm making traditional cranberry sauce, white sugar. But with this, I use brown sugar. I added vanilla, um, lemon, um, cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon, but then I folded in about three heaping tablespoons of raspberry jam okay like a preservative and so this is what i have this luscious so in between that white because white cake is very bland right in between that coconut white cake this and then oh girl even better i know this is very white we have a buttercream icing hold on y'all better i made a buttercream whooped cream icing this is basically one and a half sticks of butter softened um one fourth of a cup of one fourth of a cup, girl, speak your syllables and vowels, one fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream is just whipping cream. Okay, when you mix it for a while, it becomes whipping cream. I don't know how many cups of powdered sugar, I just do it till I get stiff peaks. Um, vanilla, lemon, and I believe that is it. I was gonna add some coconut to this too, but I think it'll be enough. Coconut in between all the layers, it'll be enough. So this is how I'm gonna make my cake. I'm gonna finish off my cake today, place it in the fridge.